Hey guys, and how's it going? A little bit of a different video today. This is my battery charger, my uh, jumper, my what I use to charge my mower batteries and jump engines. If you guys don't remember the Craftsman, this is the mode. This is the jump. This is the charger that. This is the st the jumper we used to start the 68 mower, the 68 engine, and the Craftsman. Problem I'm having with it right now is when I, if you don't remember the video where I was working on the Craftsman, for whatever reason, this crap, it crapped out on me. And it quit working while we were working on it. And I put my hand over it, it wasn't hot. I put my, I felt the sides of it, it wasn't hot. But you plug it in and there's a fuse inside of it that keeps on blowing. And so I thought, well, we could take a look at it. I am no electrician by any means. I don't know anything about electricity. I know the basics when it comes to electricity. I could wire I can wire stuff up if I want to, but I'm not a professional. And I wouldn't recommend my work to anybody <laughs> when it comes to wiring stuff. So I s if anything else, it'd be a good little parts parter. This right here is the, actually very similar to the gauges that the tractors use, and that charging gauge, we could take that off there and use it if we end up messing it up. So we're gonna pull the, there's four bolts, here, there, and then two over there. I think that's it. We're gonna pull this top cover off of this thing, and we're gonna see what it looks like inside and find out what the deal is with it. So let me go on ahead and I will get on to it and we'll do that. You guys ready to see what's in here? It's about the same, I have another one just like it. It's about the same age as that one. And the reason that I want to take a look at it is because I'm worried that here in the near future, seeing that that other one's almost the exact same age as this, it might crap out too here in a month or so. So if I can get both of them running, I'd like to do that. If nothing else, it makes for a good video. So. And a pretty good charger though, for the time I've had it. It is meant for turning over engines. It does say it on there, it says engine starter, so it is made for doing that stuff, but I'm almost wondering if the stator kicked in on the Craftsman and it fried it. That's my guess, but I don't know. That's my guess when it comes to it. Let's take a look. I haven't looked in here yet. Oh, wow. No burn marks or anything underneath. I have to clean that. That's actually pretty cool. I don't see anything that looks burnt. What do you guys think would happen if I was to plug this in right now? <laughs> I do not see anything that looks burnt. I'm looking at it right now. It doesn't smell burnt either. Those connections look like they need to be cleaned up. The board looks okay. The thing... <coughs> I don't want to break it. I'm being careful. But I don't see anything that looks burnt on here. Oh, I see. Oh, never mind. That's only a, it's not supposed to be a wire right there. Hmm. Well, I am not sure. Is that it right there? No. What do you guys think? We plug it in and we see if it does something. Do you think it would do anything right now or 
Um, nothing looks burnt, so of course if I was to take it to somebody who's good with this stuff, they'd probably find something that looks to be burnt, but nothing in here at all looks like it failed. So I couldn't tell you what the deal is with it. Tell you what, it needs cleaned out. Go in here with the air compressor and get all this crap out of here. It doesn't. It was built back in 06. It's newer than I thought it was. But. Okay, well, I am not quite sure what I want to do because I'm looking at it and I don't see where it burnt. Right here's the power cord coming in. That goes to there. That goes straight to the thing. No, it doesn't go right there. Never mind. And it goes right to this coil. I almost wonder if the coils burn up. I don't see anything that looks like it could have could be the case. I mean it really could be anything in here. There's two different colors of wire but I don't think that's the reason. I don't know. What do you guys think? Again, I don't specialize in this stuff. I'm almost tempted to plug it in, hook a battery up to it, and see if it does something. But of course I'd put the side cover back on it. I don't know. There might have been a... There's a fuse. You know what I'll bet? I'll bet you that's it right there. I'll bet you this is a fuse. All right, here's your gauge. This goes to, well, that goes straight out to the plug. No, never mind, it goes to the coil. This one goes there. I'll bet you that's a fuse. I almost wonder, actually. Is this a fuse right here? What's it say? I'm gonna guess that's a fuse. I almost wonder if we were to bypass that fuse, run this wire to here, hook this up to that terminal, do you think that would do it or not? I kinda wanna try it, but I don't. You guys don't see what I'm talking about. That right there. This. I'm wondering if that's a fuse. I'm almost tempted to try it and see if we were to bypass that fuse if it would do anything. Now keep in mind we're not going to leave it bypassed. We're just going to bypass it to use it and then once it's fixed or once we figure out what it is we'll put in a new one. I don't know there's a lot less in here than I thought there would be. Um, let's go on ahead. I don't tell you what though, I really want to try that and see if that does it or not. Because this comes off the gauge, runs down to here. This goes out to the, I'm guessing that's the positive wire. Yep, that's positive. That's probably what this is, and then, no, hold on a minute. If that's a fuse, it would cut power. Would it cut power to the positive one, or would it cut power to the negative one? Where's negative go? Negative goes down to here. Okay. This is ground. 
Okay, I guess it would cut the. I would. I guess it would cut the positive, wouldn't it? And that goes straight to ground. That's ground right there. That green wire. And then. Okay, so I think I see what it is. This right here is the positive lead that goes out to the battery. This one right here is the one that is ground. This goes right to this panel. This circuit board, if I'm correct, that circuit board, it goes to here, but it also goes up here. I almost wonder if this is the computer. That's the computer or the machine, and it tells this what to do. But this is in the way of it saying charge the battery or send sending power to here so it blows the it blows the fuse because something's wrong with that fuse. What do you think? Or am I just oddballing it? I think that might be our whole problem is this fuse. I mean there's no other there's no other panels anywhere that show a fuse. I wonder if I was to look it up. I don't want to look it up though because I want to figure it out myself. The coil, um, this is a, that's a transformer. Actually, that's not a coil, that's a transformer. For those who don't know what a transformer is, a transformer is what, it can make more voltage or less voltage depending on what you tell it to do or how much power you send into it. It could put out 12 volt, you could have 12 volts go into it and it'll it'll lower it or it'll raise it. I'm not quite sure how it works, but I know that that's a that's a simple explanation of it. I still think that's a fuse. Uh, I don't see any other Unless the switch mail went bad, I don't know. Let's pop the top. Let's pop that cover back on it, and we'll hook it up to something, and we'll see if it wants to work or not. up a starter to it. Let's go on ahead and see if this thing will kick or not. You guys ready? Stand back. Move that up. Just here. Ready? Okay. So I guess it works now. Hmm. Well, let's try it at 12 volts. Make sure all our voltages work. Because now it wants to work. Cool. Well, I guess it works. Well, I guess it is a good thing we didn't mess with anything, is it? I still think that that one piece on there that I was talking about was a some kind of fuse. Let me grab my other one of these that I was talking about earlier. This right here is my other one. You can see I got double. I have a third one around here somewhere. I don't remember where that is. It's been, it's been missing for a few years. It may have got thrown away, but you can see I got twins. So... They're both, they're both pretty good. So, a little quick little video for you guys. I figured we'd make something just to put up. It'd be a good Wednesday video. So, okay. Well, thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Hopefully that helped you guys so you know what's inside of one of these if you need to end up fixing it. But thank you guys for watching, like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you all in the next video.